friends, welcome back to another ASMR video with yours truly. I pre warned that there I do have a faulty cable, so you may hear some wind like sounds in my ears. That's not what the video is about. The video today is going to be about. 50 questions to get to know someone from humor at works.com. So we're going to be a bit silly. This was like the first um, questionnaire that I found after a simple Google search. So we're just going to go through and I'm going to ask you some questions. Get ready. Question one, and I got a little pencil and paper to write down your answer. So, question one: What is your favorite food when you were a child? Okay. Don't I wonder if it's still your favorite food. Or if you mean I know. Question two What's the number one most played song on your phone? iPod, Spotify, music. Mm. Okay, okay. I'm not sure what mine is. Um I guess your favorite song then isn't it? Um, I'm gonna put one of my favorite songs at the moment. It's hard. I think music is so different. It's hard to pinpoint one. Um, right. And this is question three. What is your favorite quote? From San Andreas? Yeah. Oh shit. Here we go again. That's probably my favourite too. I mean, I do have others that are more meaningful, I guess, but it's the one I reference the most, probably. Um, and then question four. What's your favourite indoor and or outdoor activity? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I feel like that. Mine's probably be um, either playing video games, but indoors playing video games and watching cartoons and then outside is uh, either hiking or climbing just write down what you put there we go question five we're a tenth of the way there what chore do you absolutely hate doing I don't mind doing the washing up. Sometimes it can be therapeutic. I try to do it straight after cooking so I don't have lots to do. And so when you've just got a little bit, it's kind of satisfying. I feel like then, in, yeah. It's not my favorite though, or my. I'm not sure what my hate, least favorite would be. I do see getting a haircut a chore, so probably mine. Oh, this is the dishes though. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now question six. What 
is your favorite form of exercise You have to keep it standing. Just uh, gym guy, you're running. <laughs> That's my favorite form. I'm a, I'm a climbing guy to to the core. I'd say any that and calisthenics, pull ups and stuff. It's my kind of exercise. Jumping, athletic stuff. Right. Question seven. What is your favorite time of day, day of the week, and the month of the year? Time of day. Kneeling person, women I am, and you and me are the same. And then, what's your favorite day of the week? Standing, that's standing. Should be Friday. Mine. Mine is a Tuesday at the moment because of my schedule. Tuesdays are usually dedicated to just chilling and relaxing. It's after a few days of work. Um, and it's just a nice day where I can sit down and meditate. My live streamers be live streaming. I don't have anything else to do. It's a very nice day for me. And then, month of the year. What's your favorite month of the year? Mm, yeah, like the autumn months, huh? Yeah. But, uh, I mean, October is a pretty yeah, it's a boring, boring month. I'm not sure what mine is. I think I like the, uh, I like Halloween and I like that aesthetic. I like the spookiness of, um, of, of autumn. But I think the month that I... Hmm. That I enjoy the most. Uh, I do like the summer months. I'm, I I really like the heat. Um. And when I say like a particular month, hmm. Either. It might have to be October. Because it's warm enough to not be, and it's not like the not winter weather, you're not wrapped up super warm, but you can still wear a jumper and it's not too hot, and then the, the, the cozy colours and stuff of autumn. But there is something, I kind of like the melancholy of winter, desolate. something in the beginning of something new and I kind of like that about winter so mm, I, I'll probably go I'll go December I think is that for you? October? question 8 what is your least favourite mode of transport? Least favorite mode of transport. Mm. You don't like. No. Okay. You don't like trains. That's why. I don't see why people don't like trains. I don't mind trains. Like I have to go on them quite a bit to to get back home. So. I don't mind trains too much. But um. Least favorite. Probably either boats, because I'm not too keen on water, or bus is infuriating at the moment. Cycling is a lot of effort. Oh, cycling. Uh, I don't mind cycling and stuff, because I'm going to cycle to work. The energy it takes out of you. Um, I'm going to put cycling. Question 9. What is your favourite body part? Favourite body part? Mm. 
big on the nose, huh? Big big nose guy. Gal. Okay. Okay. Nose. Respect it, I respect it. Oh, what am I? What am I? What am I? What am I? What do I like? What do I like? What do I like? What do I like? My favorite body part. With my hands, my hands are very useful. Aren't they? I like the ball in there and I say hands. So I realise that I'm not now answering this with you. Oh, this is it. Now, what sound do you absolutely, absolutely love? Is the sound that you absolutely love? Mine's uh, ASMR. It's whispering, but I feel like I can't. I gotta say something else. And, um, I think buttons are popular. I think like an Xbox controller. I think this is a little bit sad. It's the bounce. Ow. It's the bounce back. The red thing is really good on that. I like the bounce back. Okay, I see that, I see that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Question 11. So now these are what if. Um, if you could throw any kind of party, what would it be like and what would it be for? What would it be like and what would it be for? That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, the proper, proper little party going on there like that. And your friends. What would it be for? Just a celebration of friendship. I like that. I like that. For me, I like, uh, I like a good just sort of sitting there and just sort of vegetabilizing with friends, watching a TV show, watching a movie. Shamefully, that is my absolute favorite kind of party. Even if you do that and then you go out for a night or you go to the pub and then you come back and, and you go and you, you just sit and watch movies. Oh, that's absolutely my favorite thing to do ever, ever. So, um, yeah, that's mine. Okay. Yeah, I love it. So. Question 12. If you could paint a picture of any scenery you've seen before, what would you paint? For me, a bitty helps. They were just breathtaking, just truly incredible. I loved it so much. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Alright. If you knew that the world was ending at the end of this year, what would you do differently? This this uh it's very old. It says 2012, but I decided to change that. Like 
was talking about iPods um, in 2012, right? Well, what would you what would you change differently if you knew the world was about to end in a few months or a year's time? Mhm. Mm That's fair. Yeah, I like that. But I know a few people that would not change a thing and they'd be more than happy doing what they're already doing. And um, I think for me, I'd probably just be like, fuck it, and uh, travel. Like, just not even care about the money, you know? Just, just absolutely book time and just travel. Meet some people that I know across the world kind of thing and be like, ah. This is my only opportunity to, so why not, kind of thing. Because you got to see it all before it all burns, I guess. Well, that's if it does burn, you never know what might happen. If you could choose anyone, who would you pick as your mentor? I feel like all that is is just saying who is your role model. Maybe I guess they're kind of different things. If you can have a role model, then it's you, you might not want your role model to teach you, a mentor to teach you. So, who would you use your, use your mentor? I'm trying to think for myself. Better not be me, I better not be your mentor. I can't teach you. Cool. Question fourteen. I don't think we're gonna get through all all fifty. Um if you knew the world would oh no, fifteen. If you could choose anyone. No, we've done that one too. Sixteen then. I missed the time. Um, if you could choose to stay a certain age forever, what age would it be? Right now, I'm the same. I think I think um, mm, it depends about mine as well. I w I'd want my hindsight from now, but I think body wise. I think I'd probably have to go with um, just before COVID hit, or my peak climbing. Uh, actually, I guess if I was, oh, I could go now because I can train. I can age. It's age, so yeah, I'd be the same age as I am now. Maybe older. Maybe like 24, 25, maybe a few years older than this. I feel, I feel young still, I feel too young still. And I think that if I was then 22 in a few hundred years kind of thing, or even not a few hundred years in 10 years, I feel like I feel a bit young and takes me seriously. So just a few years older, I think. I might just stay the same though. Cool. I'm glad that they stay the same. I barely would stay the same. Um. Oh, I've already missed the time. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna skip past these if you would. Answers. I think some of them are pretty foul. Um. What do you want to do? Is your dream job? Do you do your dream job? What is your what are your aspirations in life? Flip the menu page. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm That's interesting. That's really cool actually. 
I'm glad I didn't say that. That's cool. You should do it. You know, just you know, it's one of those things that you, you always feel like you hold back from, and you shouldn't do it because the risks and stuff like that. But I don't think the people that did achieve it, they took those risks, right? They didn't get it. A lot of them didn't get it easy. And there'll be a few that wasn't privileged, but there's a few out there that didn't get their dreams. <coughs> and I think the bigger the risk is, the more significant it will happen when it is brewery is successful. And you'll finally want insight into things like that. It'd be cool. Um, Yeah. This, for me, it's um, creating a, a multimedia production company. Um, but we'll see about that. It's a dream. I know Smile at the start of that. But we'll see where it goes, you know. How do you pass the time when you've got about 30 minutes? Yeah. And just go on TikTok. Or sh Instagram Reels. That's fair. I can't. I really can't uh, deal with um, shorts. I find that the fast pacedness is um, too. It's too fast. It's too it like it becomes a sensory overload really quick for me. So I I really struggle and it just angers me and annoys me constantly. So I really struggle with YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, um, TikToks, whatever they're called on the Snapchat. I just I can't do them at all. I have to watch normal YouTube ten minute videos. That's ideal for me. Ten five to ten minute videos. Unless it's I watch a lot of long, long form now. I watch a f quite a lot of like videos that are an hour long, forty minutes, anywhere from ten, five minutes to an hour and thirty. I'm less likely to do it if it's an hour and thirty, and very much less likely to do it if it's an hour. But I still, I still, I still watch a lot of videos that are an hour long. Just around. I'm usually a lot slower pace. A lot of most people can't keep up an hour of TikTok type interaction. So I just yeah. It's a lot huge always a lot slower and it's it's more my pace. Um, it's one of the big hat films for him. You know them. Probably looks good. I want to answer this one, I like this one. Well, I say that, I'm not sure I can. What songs are in your soundtrack to life? I've just dropped my pencil again. But... I think... <coughs> this will be the last one. So, um, for you, sorry, good, good. I would say five songs. I want, I want your top, top five songs in your soundtrack. Okay. Fair play, fair play. Okay. What kind of thing is it like? Fair, fair. Another one? Mm, I've heard of them. Later. That's cool. I like that I don't remember so or like brand of names and songs. Because then people are like, oh my god, you need to hear these guys. I'm like, yeah, that's kind of nice. They might think that I'm dumb because I don't know any music, but what they don't know is that they're now really excited to tell me and I'm now a friend because they can brag about their music. It works every time. Fourth one, nice. Like it's working now. Fifth. 
Je vais essayer de régner ici. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, like I said, I'm not sure I could um I could name five. I think it's a really cool question to ask. Really useful. But um I don't think it's it's I'd be able to I'd feel bad. Um I think I have s I know a lot of beautiful songs. And then I associate them with very specific uh, like situations in my life. So I guess, yeah. Th that would be part of the soundtrack of your life. Um, but like if I was walking down the street, I wouldn't want to listen to a lot of them now, you know. There's, um, if I think that I was walking down a street and a song had to play, which I think this is a, I think this is a great question based off of Spider-Man 3. In Spider-Man 3, Tobey Maguire, sorry, yes, this is Tobey Maguire, that's what I mean, um, he becomes evil and, he, and, and cool and he wears a black suit and he walks down the street to the pot boy and he, um, he starts finger gunning to so him and struts down the street. This is a great question to ask people and I call it the Tobey Maguire song or the Spider-Man 3 song. What it was your song to going down that street? For me, it was um, still feel by Half Alive for a very, very, very long time. But in the past month, two months, it's been changed. It's been changed to. Del Selby by Hosier. Del Selby Part 2. Though both of them together is, you know, sublime. Sublime. But yeah, I'm a huge Hosier fan. Well, we didn't get through 50, but it's a half hour. And I'm going to keep you waiting. I haven't eaten today. I'm recovering from a night, two nights out in a row. Um, that's why I was dropping my pen so much. Um, and how I went from actually writing down things to uh, literally just scribbles. Literally, I can write, write. I have autofocus now. There we go. That's that's uh, that's what I think of you. <coughs> On the other stuff side, I wrote um, a mixture of like I was. I just I, I'd write what I want, and then sometimes I'd just write something random. This is try to this is now breaking the fourth wall. Mm. Not really. Anyways, sleep well. Sweet dreams, and I I hope to see you in the next video.